Maki Sashi's Tea House. Konnichiwa minasan, it's Gray from Makazashi's Tea House over in Japan. How are you doing? Are you good? Are you Genki? I hope you're Genki. Today I've got something different. I've got a review of the new One Piece film Red, which came out on the 6th of August in Japan. Now I'm going into this as a kind of One Piece noob, a newbie. Yeah? I've only seen the first 10 episodes of the animation. I've seen one of the movies, One Piece Gold and I've read the first two volumes in English of course of the One Piece manga so I wanted to see if I could go into this movie and enjoy it as a kind of neutral as a newbie to the One Piece world and basically looking forward to seeing a, a you know a Japanese animated movie on the big screen so here are my thoughts on the movie so what's the story about this is from the official synopsis Uta, the most beloved singer in the world, her voice, which she sings with while concealing her true identity, has been described as otherworldly. She will appear in public for the first time at a live concert. As the venue fills with all kinds of Uta fans, excited pirates, the navy watching closely, and the straw hats led by Luffy, who simply came to enjoy her performance. The voice that the whole world has been waiting for is about to resound. The story begins with the shocking fact that she is... Okay, I'll hold off there for spoilers. I went to see it yesterday, Monday, August 15th, in a small theatre in Japan, and the theatre was packed. I think it had about eight showings in that day. Everyone was almost sold out. Now, how was the movie? Was it any good? Is it worth watching? Okay, for me, to be honest, I went into this as a neutral. I'm not a huge fan of One Piece, but I do like the animation. I've read the first few manga. I like the art style. I like the story. I like the characters. I like the humor. I enjoyed seeing this on the big screen. It's great to see Japanese animated movie on a huge screen with a good sound system. But I was disappointed. I think the main reason for the disappointment was the story. It didn't feel like a proper story. It felt like it was a number of musical scenes thrown into the One Piece world. I wanted more time with the characters. I wanted more humor in here. You know, I wanted more banter between the characters, but it just felt like song and then a battle and then a song and then a battle and it got really confusing what was going on because you have a mixture of the traditional animation and CGI animation and the colors, the sound, sometimes it was kind of trippy. It was like a kind of magic mushroom style, you know, psychedelic dream at times. The character of Uta, I didn't really feel her story. It was like kind of just thrown in. She knew Luffy when they were young, they used to play together. I didn't really understand her her motivations like why you know why was she so angry with Shanks it didn't make sense at the end we didn't get enough time with Shanks as well he was only on for a short time I wanted to see more of him I wanted to see more of him showing his like father side you know being a father figure to Uta and to Luffy but it felt like it was a wasted opportunity there a lot of the characters you see are just thrown in and you only see them very briefly. Again, I know it's fan service, but I wanted more time with the characters interacting with each other. The songs were fine, Ado's songs were fine, but again, it just felt like a musical video half the time, so it doesn't feel like a complete story. You can argue that they wanted to try something new, which is fair enough, it's good to do that, but uh, if you're a huge One Piece fan, I'm sure you'll find things to enjoy in the movie. If you're a fan of the Japanese singer Ado, then you'll probably love this. Oh, and a final point, one thing I noticed in the theatre I was in, it's only a small screen, but it was packed. It was very quiet. Now this is a Japanese audience, so they're not as rowdy, they're not as interactive as, you know, American or British audiences. But they were so quiet watching the movie and quite a lot of people were walking out, maybe to get drinks or, you know, go to the toilet and then walking back in. That happened a lot, which surprised me. I've not seen that in a Japanese theatre for a while. The movie's not that long, but it felt longer than it is, if you know what I mean. And there were times when I was kind of almost falling asleep and how maybe that's just because I was tired, but it was a mid-afternoon show. It wasn't a late show. In Japan, the movie's been getting mixed reviews on some of the websites. Okay, just let me read from two of the more recent Japanese reviews. The first one is a five star. Now, please excuse the translation, it's not the best, but it goes something like this. This work has a different Oita style from the previous One Piece movies. From the fact that the boss in the movie looks like a pretty diva, it seems that he wanted to draw a strong girl, not a muscular old man. The style and the boss are completely different from the previous One Piece movies. 
What do you want? Do you want the old fashioned style of One Piece movie that you've seen before countless times? Or do you want something new? I think there were some people who felt uncomfortable with the lack of battle scenes. However, what I saw was Luffy's cool appearance, trying to solve the problem with words instead of fists. Reminds me of the first episode of the original Shanks and Mock Town. Luffy struggled to deliver words instead of fists because he treated Uta as an important friend. Of course, I wanted to see a battle scene, but more than that, I was satisfied, very satisfied with the fact that Luffy was drawn properly and coolly. Also, Uta's singing parts are very good. The first two are kind of introductory, so they're a little bit over the top, but Uta's ability is related to the song, and the lyrics fit the story and Uta's feelings. Especially the third song, Backlight. However, is it just an effect? It was hard to hear the lyrics, so I want to watch it again. It makes me feel like I can enjoy the movie even more if I can understand the lyrics. In conclusion, please listen to the cool music on the big screen and enjoy Luffy's handsome appearance that you don't see very often. This is recommended for fans of Addo the singer as well. I love this movie. Okay, and here's a recent review which gives it one star out of five. This is the impression of a person who spent about 10 years just skimming the original manga. With this movie, a strange sense of incongruity flows from the beginning to the end. I wasn't expecting much because I was going to see it with my family, but somehow I felt uncomfortable from the intrusion immediately after the start. I knew that Uta was a character who couldn't read the atmosphere, but suddenly she went on stage and it was crazy. The technical level is also strange, but it is modern, I suppose. I wonder if it's full of convenient lines just to advance this scenario, like, I don't know, it felt strange, it felt weird, sometimes it was off-putting. It's like a director who wants to make an original work, uses a popular work, and the original author doesn't mind. It's really good drawing at times, the directing's good, but you've definitely brought a plot that you were trying to do outside of One Piece. It feels like this isn't a One Piece story. It feels like it's the Addo songs thrown into a One Piece world. The movie doesn't make any sense. But there are very mixed reviews on there. Of course, you get five out of fives and you get one out of fives or even half a star out of five. The main reason seems to be that people don't like the fact that it's too much of a musical. It's not a regular One Piece animated movie. I've seen critics saying that it's like a Disney musical, it's like a Disney movie. There are seven songs by the Japanese singer Ado throughout the movie and I have to say it did feel like watching a musical video at times. This is from one of the Japanese reviewers who says that many of the songs are actually very good. Ado's singing voice is beautiful, but I came to see a One Piece movie and not listen to Ado's songs. About 40 minutes of music and songs is just too much. Another reviewer is fairly positive review saying, My sister who likes Addo and I who don't like them so much, we went together, but after watching it we both fell silent. There were more song parts than we expected and it was difficult to get into the story. So if you look at the film as like a one-off story set in the One Piece universe, I think you'd probably enjoy it, especially if you like the music. But if you're looking for a groundbreaking, exciting, like surprising and shocking One Piece movie, I think you're going to have to look somewhere else. Okay, as always, thanks so much for watching. This is Grey from Wakizashi's Tea House, signing off. Matane. Wakizashi's Tea House. Please subscribe.